Scarlet Rose Plays presents Melee Fighting Mechanics, Part 2. Part 1 explained the basics of fist fighting, how to punch, block, and dodge. In this video, we'll expand on unarmed PvP combat, exploring pushes, tackles, holds, chokes, throws, and more. You can push someone over from the front, back, and sides by running at them and hitting the left mouse button. It causes some damage as they hit the ground, but if you want to take advantage, kick them while they're down with F to inflict a good deal more. You can counter a push from the front or sides by tapping F just before they execute the move to stay on your feet and shove them away. You can't defend against a push from behind. If you stop running after you push, you'll automatically withdraw a weapon if equipped, so take a few more steps if you're aiming for melee only. To tackle someone, run at them and press the E or F key. You can do this from the front, sides, and back. You'll have a few options after you tackle. If you both press nothing, you'll hold them on the ground for a period of time. This will decrease both your and their stamina, and your opponent will eventually automatically initiate a punch and stand up. You can press R to dismiss, which lets them go, or they can break free by tapping F, both of which will trigger the punch and stand animation. You can also press Shift in place of R to release holds. You can choke someone out by tapping F before they manage to escape. To counter a tackle from the front or sides, tap F as they execute the move. If they tackle from the front, you'll push them back. From the sides, you'll hit the floor, but if you hit F a few more times as you land, you'll punch them off and stand back up. There's no counter for tackles from behind. You can grab someone from behind with E or F, but there's a considerable difference between the two. When you're behind a player and you hit F, you'll grab them in a chokehold and finish them off. There's no option to release and no way for them to resist. If you're on a roleplay server, you can normally ragdoll, which is great if you've grabbed someone like this by mistake. Hitting E when you're behind someone pulls them into a hold. It doesn't cost stamina for either of you, so you can keep them here indefinitely or until they resist. Once grabbed with E, the attacker can press R to dismiss and the target can tap F to break free. Both result in an elbow to the gut release animation. You can hit F while holding someone to punch them in the back. You can do this repeatedly and it packs quite a bit of damage before they can break free. To throw someone while holding them from behind, press a directional key as you hit R to toss them front back or to the sides. If you hit E with someone in front of you, it grabs them by the throat. Unlike from behind, this reduces your stamina as you hold them, much like the tackle. If you don't press anything or if they resist by tapping F, it'll trigger a punch animation as they're released. If you tap F before they break free, you'll choke them out. If you hit E while in front of someone standing near a wall or pole, you'll slam them up against it and hold them there. You'll have the option to release or punch. The final swing will deliver a great finishing animation. To counter someone lunging at you from the front with E, tap E. This will cause you to grapple with your opponent. You can also achieve this grapple by taking a few steps back and pressing E while engaged in combat. Once you're locked together, a few things can happen. If you both hit nothing, the defender will automatically initiate a punch or push and release animation. You can hit F to struggle. Whoever taps F faster will punch or push the other away. Now, here's a spectacular and not well-known technique. When you've got someone in a grapple, tap E repeatedly. This will trigger an animation that converts a normal hold into something special. Once completed, you'll unlock the ability to move, throw, and punch your opponent while holding them. It doesn't lower stamina, so you can do this until they resist. To move them, simply walk in the direction you want to take them. If you reach an object like a wall or pole, you'll shove them up against it and hold them there. To throw them forward, backwards, or to the sides, press a directional key as you hit R to release. To punch, hit F. There's a few bonus finishing animations you can achieve with this hold. Deliver the last punch near certain tables or windows for a truly fantastic end to a fight. Keep in mind that mechanics may vary between Red Dead Online, Story Mode, and on modded servers. There's also some melee options that only work or work differently on NPCs, 
such as holding control after an e-grab to lower them to the ground and lift them back up. You can use this to drown people if you're in shallow water. That's the end of part 2. In the next video, we'll expand on melee combat to include knives, cleavers, machetes and more. I hope this video helped you out. Feel free to check out my other videos on YouTube or come watch me on Twitch, Scarlet Rose Plays. Links down below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.